Well, hello, Geminis. Welcome to your end of the month reading for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, okay? This reading, you guys, is one that gives you advice on, you know, what's going on right now, where you are going, what may, what you may need to do moving forward, and self-care advice, okay? Some things that you, you know, need to tap into moving towards the end of the month. So your whole message of this was a very positive one. Um, the two of sticks actually came out in reverse. I turned it upright, but um, this whole reading, the overall message speaks of you being optimistic, okay? Setting clear boundaries. The two of sticks in reverse, when it came out, it speaks of um, a lot of plans that, you know, didn't happen. A lot of, you know, broken promises. I'm not sure why I'm saying broken promises, but a lot of things that you planned didn't go the way that you expected. And so now you were like in, in a phase of like, okay, like why am I always experiencing the worst? Why am I experiencing bad things but spirit wants me to ask you why are you thinking the worst okay why are you not being optimistic towards your dreams and goals things happen in life and that's just the way that life is uh, a lot of things come to you know test us you know we get obstacles in life but a lot of the times it's just a small obstacle and I see with the eight of wands that you guys need, you know, to be more op optimistic because there's a lot of forward movement that is coming in your life. Don't let that one thing stop you. Don't let that one thing, you know, break your faith or, or break your confidence. I do see that you have a lot of abundance coming in, um, whether that may be financial abundance, uh, you know, positive partnerships, love coming into your life. I do see that you need to be more um, precise, set clear boundaries. I see that with the mother of knives and I see that with the mother of sticks. Also, you know, I see the daughter of coins. You ha have a lot of coins on here. There's a lot of coins on the deck and there is also a lot of um, sticks. And sticks in traditional tarot are the wands. And you have the eight of wands, you have the mother of sticks, which would be the queen of wands. And then you have the two of sticks, which will be the two of wands in traditional tarot. But you have a lot of things coming to you. You put in a lot of work. So there's no reason for you to be afraid of, you know, losing anything or things not going the way that you want it. Because if it didn't work out the way that you want it, I just know that it's going to be better. Okay. Maybe your uh, spirit guides, the universe has something better in store for you than what you planned. Maybe your plan was just, you know, on a little bit of a, you know, lower perspective than what the universe has for you. Because, you know, if you think about the universe, it's big. So the universe always goes bigger than what we expect and what we, you know, know sometimes. So you do have the world card, which is another uh, clarification that you're receiving abundance for all the hard work that you put in. And I see that with the four of pentacles, but also with the four of pentacles, don't be, you know, stingy. Don't be like in a space where you're penny pension or trying to save because you're always thinking the worst. Be optimistic. Excuse me. So for your self-care advice, you have music and the sing card did come out sing for self-care. So that lets me tell, lets me know that you need to do like some type of um, singing, dancing. Some of you may love, some of you may make music and you love to, you know, write music or something of that nature, or you may need to do sound healing, but get with something that is musical, whatever it is that you like to do as it pertains to music. Also, you need to rest because you've been putting in a lot of work. And if you keep going and going, you're, you know, likely to experience burnout, which can also cause you to be, you know, in a space of not being optimistic and, you know, developing like a pessimistic attitude towards everything because you're not well rested and, you know, you start things and you stop and you wonder wondering like, okay, like, why can't I keep going? It's because you need to rest. You need to rest. Put the phone away, get off TikTok, get off Instagram, get off of Facebook Live and Messenger. I don't know who that is for, but get off of that. Turn the TV off, lay down and go to sleep. Okay. Um, and not just one day, not just one week, you know, 
you need time like take a break an extended break maybe i'm hearing like maybe three to four months just take a break it will not hurt you don't feel guilty don't feel bad you need it okay and also i'm getting to, for you to nourish your temple nourish your temple eat healthy foods you know connect with your body see what it is that you need to do as far as you know cleansing your auric feel and getting your energy right so that you can come back you know with a better attitude you know um thinking in light and you know just allowing yourself to progress forward okay that is your wonderful reading for the end of the month and your self-care advice thank you for tuning in with me once again gemini's be sure to check out your sun moon rising and venus sign okay so that you can get the full message of what it is that you need to hear for the end of the month thank you guys for tuning in i love you and i will see you back